Evening all, how are you doing? Hope you're okay. Bit quiet in the chat tonight. Who have we got? We've got Finnish Farmer. Good evening, mate. Tin Man, how are you doing? You alright? Good to see you. Thanks for joining me on your uh, Friday evening. Hope you're good. Good day, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Hope everyone is well. So, yeah, thanks for joining me. How, is it? how are you both doing? You alright? Mr. Perry, good evening, sir. How are you doing? You alright? Thanks for joining me. Good to see you. How are you all doing? Hope you're all good. So, yep. Yeah. Back on uh, back on Missouri River Bottom. Chris B, good evening, mate. How are you doing? Thank you very much for joining us. Scottish Jim, hello, sir. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So, yeah, it, like I said, back, here we are back on Missouri River Bottom. I do love this place. Quick question. I know I always say this. Does the video look all right? Because I've been having a bit of a fettle with some graphic settings. Not in-game graphic settings, uh, but other things. Uh, Grain Man, hello, mate. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, all good, thank you, Liam. I'm all good, thank you, mate. Yep, yeah, all good, thank you. Uh, yeah, does does the video look all right? Does it if when I'm just moved? I've um, one of my friends, Mark Haythornthwaite. I'm sure you all know of him. Uh, he sent me a link earlier on on Discord to a uh, a mod, uh, although it wasn't actually a mod, but it's for uh, Reshade. I'm sure some of you have heard of a thing called Reshade. It's not just for Farming Simulator; it's for other games as well. Um, and I saw it and the title of it was something like Cinematic Shaders and I was like oh you know magpie shiny thing ooh shiny um, you know how I all like my cinematic so I just I, I, that, that then wrote the next three hours of my life because <laughs> I started downloading I, I downloaded Reshade I downloaded this particular mod uh, and I've been mucking about with it ever since um, it's awesome it's really good Um so yeah, it's. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that it looks all right because uh, this it's it's. Well, I bring it up. It's a bit. It brings that all this thing up onto the screen. You've got these like this wealth of graphical stuff and yeah. It's, I think it's like a render engine or something. Is that what you term it? I don't know. Uh, Sean Lewis, hello mate. Um, Rainman, can you send that over to me? Uh, well, the yeah, I can. Uh, I'll certainly do that for you after the stream, mate. Um, reshade is something that you'll. If you just Google Reshade, um, you'll find it somewhere. Uh, it's it's a it's a thing that's for many other games. It's not something specifically for Farming Simulator. So it's for it, apparently it works well for uh, GTA and various other games, hundreds and hundreds of games. But it's something that you you install, you attach it to the one of the .exe files of Farm Sim, um, and then it's. Uh, it does something and then in game you just press the home button and it brings up all this stuff and i mean i mean i, I won't bore you to tears with it or anything but i mean you've got things like like let it you can you can add a film grain to it you can uh, there's, there's uh, well letterbox mode there you go so you could have like a like movie kind of thing it's 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 crazy stuff it really is um um You've seen reshade but finding the right shading settings is fun yeah it is well as i say it's 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 written the the last two and a half to three hours of my life since uh, Mr. Mr. Haythornthwaite. Hello, sir. I was literally just... I just mentioned your name, mate. Um, you you, uh, you you sent me that um, cinematic shader thing earlier on on Discord, um, and I was just kind of like saying, yeah, that, that wrote the next two and a half to three hours of my life because uh, I obviously that's for Reshade, so I downloaded Reshade. Having I've heard of it before. Someone had said they stayed away from it because it, it, it was quite heavy on the GPU and it kind of affected FPS uh, quite heavily and that's something I, I, try, I try and stick with quite strongly is trying to keep as high frames per second as possible um, but no sure enough I downloaded it and I've downloaded that cinematic thing and well now you're here I'll show you but I mean there's like this this cinematic depth of field thing you can do it there's loads of adjustments you can make to it but if you see you can you walk up to something and you can see how it, it's there's a lot of settings to change in it but you can see how it kind of like makes everything go all blurry but things that are close up it's um yeah anyway there's stuff to play with that there's hours and hours of tuning with that um but anyway thank you very much for that that's uh, yeah i really appreciate it so i'm going to uh, i'm going to have a good play with that over the next few days and see if i can improve my uh, my cinematics in videos i'll be trucking good evening mate how you doing hope you're well ronald ducks hello mate how are you doing? You all right? Is this what I pointed you at? Yes, it is, mate. Well, kind of, it is. Um, the mod you pointed—it's it's not a mod. It's—it's a—it's a, it's a shader. 
a set of shaders that are to do with, that, that go into uh, a program called Reshade. And Reshade is something that isn't specifically just for Farming Simulator. It's something that can work with many, many other games. Um, so it's something you install entirely separately. It kind of latches onto the .exe of, or one of the .exe's of Farming Simulator. And and then it, in game, you can bring up that menu that you just saw, and you can you can load in various .ini files, which are essentially uh, presets and all these different things that you have. Well, again, I'll bring it up. Forgive me, everyone, but I mean, if, if I just scroll down there, there is of the few that I selected, there are hundreds and hundreds of different options. Like you could, you know, there's, there's so many things you can make your there was one somewhere called night vision for example you can add night vision turn the whole screen into a night vision type thing i mean as i say there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of like different things you can just change the if you might not can you see it on the screen there i suppose you can but yeah um you can do all sorts of crazy things with it it's 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 crazy stuff it really is but it's really powerful clearly and it sits entirely separately to the game so um it tend, it seems there are varying um Set settings in here that really do tank your frames per second. There's the, the, that really do ask a lot of your computer. So you know, I'll be staying away from things like that. Um, but there's also a lot of really clever ones. Um, the depth of field. There's a handful of depth of depth of field uh, settings which look really interesting. So when it comes to doing the the cinematic things that I like to do in my videos, I might be able to turn them up a notch and add the letterbox thing like an actual movie and have the uh, anyway. I haven't got there yet. Um, we shall see. Leroy, hello, mate. Good evening. How you doing? Carabo, good evening. How you doing? Way over my PS5 brain. Well, I suppose the PS5 does. Uh, it's it's just a one size fits all, though, isn't it? Um, they are an amazing little thing, aren't they? The PS5s. I say little, they're massive. Um, anyway, welcome to the stream, everyone. Thanks for joining me on this uh, Friday night. I hope you're all having a lovely Friday. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Thank you, Ron. I'm good. Thank you, mate. It's good to hear from you, mate. I'm not not uh, not spoke to you or heard from you for a while, pal. I hope you're doing good. Hope you're well. Um, right. So onwards from last week. Last week in the live stream, we harvested. Uh, we started harvesting. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, uh, I'll I'm going to jump into Iron Man mode very quickly uh, because between last week's and this week's episode, uh, I have just done a few more uh, mucking around because this this field here is one whole field what the land we're on top of here this grass triangle in the bottom corner here and that top bit there this is all one field but st or one area of land but i don't own this land if you pop into the uh, map pda uh where are we this one here yeah there you go you see so farmland i own that I, I own this but i don't own that but when uh because of the a hiccup that happened just before the an hour or so before last week's stream i reset this field to be the harvestable state so that we could do the stream and that this little i don't know why i'm pointing you can't see me and can you? um this little triangle reset itself to the, the the harvestable corn as well which was a bit odd because it's not mine and i don't own it so i've reset that back to grass but anyway sorry so we didn't finish off this um harvest in the last episode because one harvester uh when we got started was going to it said it was going to take um uh two and a half nearly three hours i think to finish it off um so i've done that off camera as it were between episodes and i've also finished off this top bit as well for the main reason that i wanted to put my little auto drive network into test and and i've also been uh, creating the um the auto drive bits and bobs for running well, for running uh, running the harvesters in the field, an auger wagon running from the field from the harvesters to the uh, lorry to the truck that will be sitting at a wait point to tip or to receive the grain from the auger cart and then to take the grain from the field to the silo. Uh, so, yeah, because I do like to, I do like a bit of automation. Um, and also what we, what, what we have uh, gained from the last episode uh, because of the length of time, because I knew I should have done this before setting up the stream uh, or the, the, the game, as it were, before the last episode, um, we have gained another harvester, another corn header, another grain header, another lorry and another trailer and another tractor and another auger cart. So now I do love a packed workshop as well. So as you'll see, I've added a bit more 
life onto the shelves in here just to make it feel like it's an actual worked in workshop so we've got a handful of uh, crates, pallets, totes, whatever you call them IBCs of uh, DEF government juice, diesel exhaust fluid uh, we've got some just some barrels and boxes and stuff just to make the place look like it's had uh, been lived in a bit um, so there, this is our, this was our tractor and auger cart that we had last week and we still have this week obviously my uh, much loved 1167 as you can see it's completely filthy but we now have this shiny new uh, partner in crime we have the uh, the John Deere 9570 RT uh, another one of uh, Northwest Mods and Edits beautiful pieces of work um, but yeah matching trailers different colours obviously but matching trailers but check that out just for just because I like to look at the way it's squeezed in there it fits absolutely perfectly inch perfect um, and if I go around here to open the door it's literally the strap of the door there is just inches away from the uh, the front weight of the tractor and it just opens by the skin of its teeth um, sorry catch up on the chat there I may have I may have updated farm sign by tonight for tomorrow's stream mate oh Leroy that's very kind mate thank you pal oh you legend have I caused you many sleepless nights? Well, you will have done, mate. Tonight will be the first sleepless night. <laughs> and then uh, there will be many more. Because uh, that is it's the kind of thing that you can dive into. I've just been sitting here for hours since I downloaded that and reshade. Just going through the different presets, clicking, unticking, unclicking, seeing what things can do and what they look like. And I'm running a couple of things on it already here um, that just sharpen things up a bit. And they, they, it kind of plays with the colors of it so it's it's the colors to me at the minute look a little bit richer um there is also a clarity thing which can make slightly distant objects look a bit more clearer but that tend that affects the fps by one or two so i i uh, I, I turn that off again um but yeah so packed workshop as i say we have uh, we have gained another 10t mr haythornthwaite again i got this one i i think i said it at the beginning of the last uh, stream last week um after uh, after meeting this thing in the flesh at uh, at Lama, uh, this is why I, I I've just got a newfound love for this this particular the black and grey fent ideal thing, and just can't help but stand next to the tracks and go ooh because that's what I did in real life. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got another one of these. We've got obviously another header, uh, so we can run two harvesters in the field at the same time. Uh, we have another truck. And I do like a workshop where you've got to actually plan which route you walk around. Uh, again, another uh, offering from Northwest Mods and Edits. Uh, this is the Mac Anthem, uh, another truck that I do like to use in-game. So we need to uh, get the doors open, get things running. But yeah, there we go. Horn headers ahoy, harvesters, trucks, auger, auger trucks, auger tractors, sorry. So the plan is, I'm going to, uh, we're going to run, obviously, course play is going to control the two harvesters. Uh, the trucks and the one of the auger tractors I am going to uh, are going to be on uh, auto drive and I am going to pilot one of the the other one as well probably the uh, probably the John Deere uh, so yeah let's get crack let's get right on with it and I didn't want to jump in the truck did I, I wanted to jump in the harvester I suppose that's one of the negative things of having so many close knit vehicles look at that I literally climbed up the ladder of the harvester I'm gonna have to look at that. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to have to flick through them, aren't I? You're not going to behave yourself. Right, so there's number one. Yeah, that's the first one because it's got seven and a half work hours on it, so that's the uh, that's the one we've been using the most. So, let's get this thing out to the field. First of all, I'll have a little path into our corn. So, yeah, we're, we're working... Uh, so, as I say, we uh, I, I got that field uh, harvested, finished off. Uh, and what we got from it, we got over, we're, we're north of, from that one field alone, um, where are we going to the productions, because it's in the in the grain dryer, 688,785 litres of corn. So that is uh, being turned into dried corn as we speak. So that's awesome. Um, Crispy opened the big wallet. Yes, I did. Um, I did, yes. Uh, well, that, that was kind of the idea of this of this save this game this it's not going to be uh, i'm going to try and obviously uh wrong word is behave isn't it but you know i'm going to work correctly as realistically as possible um but i should have started the last episode with two harvesters potentially two trucks as well um 
and two orca carts because the size i mean this, this is the field we're working in today it's massive um so what i do need to do actually just so again so i'm doing things correctly i need to bring up my auto drive network uh, i've spent the last couple of days um, working on this auto drive network so we need to unfold that we need to unfold that and i need to start carving a path into the field because this is where the trucks and all the auger wagons are going to enter the field so for the sake of uh, keeping the realism as it should be and I also I do have access to this land it's my land let's turn that off a minute I need to bring that I need to start the course play course now this is field 38 field 38 boom there we go so I need to highlight where the first waypoint is, so that's there, right, okay. Stop telling me I don't have access to this land, this is my land. Get off my land. FSG, good evening sir, how you doing? I kind of wasn't expecting to uh, to see you this evening mate, because uh, didn't you say you were travelling down to see uh, to see the old boy, FSG senior? Are you, are, you, uh, are you down here tonight, actually, somewhere near me? How are you doing, mate? Good to see you. Thank you very much for joining us, mate. Really appreciate it. So, right, there we go. Carved the path towards the start point. That should do him right there. We're now going to jump in harvester number two. Violet, how are you doing? Good evening, love. Good to see you. Um, is this a new series? Yeah, it's not... A, well, not, not in that I'm going to be... Well, not the minute. Anyway, recording episodes as you normally see me recording episodes. This I kind of thought because um, I fell in love with this map after seeing uh, the man himself, FSGs, but after seeing his map tour of it a, a week or so ago, um, I love a big American map. I really do. I'm a, I'm a sucker for it. Um, and one of the main things that really drew me to this, apart from the fact that it is a glorious map, um, is the way it performs. It's a, it's it, it's a really really solidly performing map. Um, on my computer anyway uh, so I thought you know what I've, uh, I need to uh, I need to get practicing with the live streams I need to um, I need to do a bit, I'd get a bit more live streams under my belt so I thought you know what I'm going to set up a, a what I hope will be just a dedicated live stream series um, it's, it, it stands good for plenty of content the fields are absolutely enormous uh, so there's hours and hours of work to, d to get done uh, so yeah, I thought I will. Uh, I'll, I'll do it that way. So yes, this is. Ca it's, it's so yeah. Long story short, mate. Yes, it's a. It's a live series. That's the way I'm going to call it. Um, right. Let's get that one unfolded. Let's get that one unfolded. Um, forgive me, people in the chat. I'm doing my best to catch up. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are we? Oh, you binned it. Driving down tomorrow. The weather up here is. Oh, is it, mate? Is it really bad? Is it? Yeah. And plus Friday driving it well even considering driving anywhere near the m6 on a friday is uh, is vehicular suicide sometimes it can be an absolute nightmare even though it's a straight piece of road with an actual speed limit it's the most accident prone especially the, the what i think what's termed the m6 corridor down our neck of the woods junctions 15 at stoke up to like 20 wigan way 21 um it is a nightmare um, especially on the front. Uh, yeah, the thought of four hours in the dark rain and wind wasn't a fun one. No, definitely not, mate. Definitely not. Sensible. Good man. Good man. Right, okay, so what am I doing with this one? So this also needs the same course play course. There we go. So this is going to be on the right. That one is going to be on the left. Da, 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 da. First waypoint. Boom. Off you go, please. There we go. We'll give him a couple of seconds to get. Even though I've set the distance, I've set the distance between the two to 100 meters. Um, I kind of think that's always the best one to go for, just to give them a bit of room. Plus the corners are on sharp as well. So, um, is the 50 mile an hour still running on the M6? I think so. In places it is. Oh, he starts off well, doesn't it? Brilliant. He hits the. Oh, some of the telegraph poles don't have collisions, but this one clearly does. Right, okay. That's all you needed, goodness me. Right. Starts off well. <laughs> Come on. Right. 
There's only a point two on the on the field margin as well, so I'm just trying to look down the line there. That sh I want to say that should clear it, but knowing my luck, it's not going to, is it? Oh no, there we go. Pulled in a bit. Right. Sort yourself out, sunshine. First waypoint. Boom. Oh, I've pulled it too far back. Okay. I'll let you off. Let you off. Actually, no. Can't. Uh, can't deal with that. because this is the area that the articulated lorries and auger wagons are going to be playing around in, so I feel it's only right to make sure that they're not even driving through the slightest uh, patch of corn that hasn't been harvested yet, so... Dum, 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 nearest waypoint. Off ye go. Really? Where are you going? Really? Oh, for goodness sake, right, I see. Going well. Right, nearest waypoint. Thank you. Right, there we go. Are you going to behave yourself? I can see you. the trees are going to... Come on, do me proud, do me proud, off you go. Get in. Right. Excellent. <laughs> better right sorry chat here we are again um, yeah that's right I agree with you there Leroy that uh, the live stream you did yesterday FSG was brilliant I loved the idea of the uh, behind the scenes thing that was pretty awesome um, loved it Esktep is the game worth buying absolutely mate if you love a chilled out relaxing approach to gaming um, Personally, obviously, there's, I suppose there's a bit of bias in it. I mean, look at my name, Farmer Sim. Um, this is, for me, after having several years, many years of playing many genres of game, this is the greatest game. It really is. Bar none. So, yes, please do. Um, which bits of the new mod am I using tonight, Mr. Haythornthwaite? Well, it's... It, okay, I'll... I'll Forgive me, let's go into technical jargon. Um, reshade is, as I said before, reshade is an entirely separate thing to use with any other game. It works with many other games. Uh, it cut, This is the, you see at the top there, MT Cinematic Pro. This is the mod that Mr. Haythornthwaite uh, pointed me in the direction of earlier today. It's, it's essentially, it's a set of, it's a shader set that comes with a pro, a game, and a light version. Um, and it comes with a whole load... Of, this isn't all just that mod, there's a whole load of other stuff as well. Uh, but essentially all I'm doing now is I've added a bit of high dynamic resolution, so if I click on that there, turn it off, and turn it on, you can see it just adds a bit of, like, a bit of bloom. And a, well, I think it's, it's high dynamic resolution, isn't it? Is that what it stands for? Um, but yeah, it, it it just adds a bit of more, a bit, a bit more colour. Um, and you've got this one, which is just a selection of letters and numbers from the alphabet thrown at the screen really but uh, again it just adds a bit more depth to the colour um, so those are the only two I'm going with there are hours and hours and hours of exploring to do in this thing um, but it's a really good mod I've, I've heard of Reshade a lot I, I've never I've, I've never for no apparent reason I've never got it running but when you sent me that thing that had the title cinematic and I was like ooh cinematic shiny thing let's go um, that was it for me um, so, right, anyway, trucks. Let's get in one of these beauties. Northwest Mods and Edits do make some wonderful wagons, don't they? They really do. So, what field are we working in there? Uh, field 38. So, what I want is... I have... No. Dun, 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 dun. So, we have field 38 truck point. You're going to go... We're going to go from uh, which one is it? Field 38 truck point. You're going to tip at the central farm silo, and it is corn. I think I might just need to drive you a bit closer to here because that's where the actual auto drive thing is. There we go. So you go there. You jump in the next truck. Same again. Uh, Ron, what, what map is this? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the Missouri River Bottom uh, by River Bottom Customs. It is a beautiful map. It's a four time, four x map, four times map. Um, 
but it's a solid four times map. Um, I'm a real sucker for for um, map that runs really well. Now I, I, I'm sure a few of you might know I do a series over on Tahitian County, uh, which again is a beautiful map, but it runs like a bag of spanners most of the time because it's got a billion trees. Um, if any of you, do you know, actually, if any of you watched uh, a few episodes ago, I did a big thing where I had a load of people come in and cut down some trees. I did that because I just wanted to get rid of some trees. I wanted to minimise the area because I wanted to try and gain three, four, five frames per second. Um, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It really is, but those are the lengths I'm prepared to go to. That gowers, by the way. <laughs> uh, right, goodness me, too much talk. What am I doing? I need. Auger wagons. Right, let's get you to the field. We're already lagging behind now. Because the harvesters are already full. And I haven't done any field prep in these fields, so the yield is pretty good. Um, Ron, can I send me the map in our... The, the, if you want, the, the link to the map is in the video description, Ron. Um, they, uh, the, there's, there's, a, there's a map and a, a mod pack. Uh, which is just a handful of placeables, buildings and stuff. Um, but yeah, the links are both there, mate. So, um, yes, Liam, I should have done that in the right order, shouldn't I? Um, silly me. Uh, but yeah. Mr. Thor! Still alive then. Yes. <laughs> I am indeed, mate. I am indeed. Hope you're well. How are you doing? You alright? Good to see you. Thank you very much for uh, joining us on, your, uh, on a Friday evening, mate. Hope all's good. Right, so I'm going to uh, get auto drive to do this one. In fact, there's, there's so much setting up to do in here in, with this one. I need to make sure that the combine harvesters have. What are we? We're in field 38, isn't it? Is it 38? 38. Field 38 auger point in there. That needs to be field 38 or the point, just so that it matches the tractors and that are picking up from them. There's that. Dun, dun, dun. So that wants to be harvester. Field 38 or the point. And field 38 or the point. Off ye go. Thank you very much. Right. We'll get there now. We're getting there. Oh, don't worry, Liam. No, you, you, you were correct, Liam. I, sh I should have brought these two into the field first. Um, yes, I should have done. I think it's because it's because I was doing the trucks first. I've been uh, on, on top of sitting in front of this uh, reshade thing for the last several hours. Thank you, Mister Mister Haythorn for it. <laughs> um, I I've been doing a lot of uh, building of the auto drive course this afternoon and testing it to make sure it works because I'm sure any of you who are frequent users of auto drive and course play will know that combining the two together getting them to work together is relatively straightforward and it's wonderful when they work together but just to add uh, complication to it all when you're running multiple auger wagons in a field plus doing it this way so the auger wagon brings the brings the grain to the trucks that are parked waiting so that this get so that you know, obviously that you know the harvesters unload into here this one loads into there and then they go back into to the um, uh, silo you can come across bottlenecks and I've tried really hard to, to make sure that hang on, uh, that I don't come across any bottlenecks but I can't because Right, so you should now just find your way to there, uh, because of the it's essentially because of the twin hoppers in the trucks. If this was one hopper, it'd be fine. And I know there are other trailers out there that exist that are just single hoppers, but these ones are brilliant. These are DJ Modding's uh, slightly uh, increased capacity uh, hopper bottoms. So if you see how this this truck here is, the, sorry, this tractor and trailer is pulling up alongside. It's about getting the positions right of the nodes so that when it finishes, which is there, when he, if he was to have his auger pipe out, he should be unloading into the front tank of, or able to unload into the front tank of this. 
that's so that if this was sat here on its own with grain in and there was no truck there, when a truck pulls up, it'll load into the front hopper. Does that make any sense? It's, I suppose, uh, only those of you who've been familiar with the way auto drive works and have tried to do something this complicated will understand, will, will appreciate what I'm talking about. Um, but it's, yeah, it, it can be right finicky. Let's just say that. Right, so you're there you're there you've got grain in so that's working you're waiting for a call but now i'm not going to do that because i'm driving this <laughs> i do want something to do now in fact i also need to make sure that you don't call to call to on no, there let's turn that off i think same again here to unload it apply. Right, there we go. So I'm, what I might need to do is potentially wait for him to respond to one of those. So there's a full grain tank there. Finnish farmer, you've built a full course for this map and it's on testing. Good man, good man. It's uh, out of interest. I don't know if it's something that other auto drive map creators do. Um, I've always liked to create my own auto drive networks just so I know exactly how they work and when something doesn't work you've got a rough idea where because you might be able to remember how you recorded it but on dead straight roads um, do you, I, I use GPS I will create a GPS thing on the tractor and just give it a very very minor width like 0.3 of a meter or whatever it might be and then you can set GPS off on a, on a dead straight road and then just put, or put uh, cruise control on and record an arrow straight um, auto drive route is that something that other people do is that is that something is that just me just because I'm a bit daft and I, I like to make sure that everything's if, uh, that a straight road is actually a straight road does that make sense um, yeah I do love creating auto drive networks. It's it's uh, when a new map comes out, and I'm really keen to play on it. I will spend the first probably day um, creating a full auto drive course. Although I say that I haven't done a full auto drive course of this one yet. I've done routes to the farm. I've done my fields. I've done a couple of the. I've done the shop. I've done the the grain selling buying points in the town, and think that's it so there's a, there's a lot more to do um you use enhanced vehicle mod it's much simpler okay in, the enhanced vehicle mod enhanced vehicle would be better than gps for that okay interesting right okay i'll give that a look i'm always happy to, to try new things um I think you're missing a large quantity of corn there aren't you mr harvester what's all that about it's not like I'm going to be uh, running out of corn anytime soon, but the, uh, I think this is an 85-acre field, so it's a pretty selfish field. So enhanced vehicle would be better than GPS, right? Okay, I will. Um, I haven't actually got enhanced vehicle mod. New things for me to learn? No, absolutely, mate. Yeah. Well, this 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 game is one of that's one of the great things about this game. There are so many different ways of doing things and different methods and different mods that allow you to do similar things but you might prefer this over that it's and that's why again i've repeated myself a million times here but that's why modders make this game they make it what it is they they make it have the variety you know it's just wonderful it really is um fsg and scroft have videos on it right okay um oh i've just I've seen a link there that's come through on discord so yeah dm sent thank you mate Vehicle control add-on to... Ah, I think that might be the one I'm getting mixed up with, FSG. Um, enhanced vehicle and vehicle control add-on. Vehicle control add-on, is that the one that gives you... The, there's a, there's a colourful texted box that appears in the bottom... Or can appear in the bottom-ish left-hand side of the screen above the map. Is that right? Is that is that VCA? I think. Either way, I shall, uh, I shall happily check those out. Um... Right, I think he looks like he's... Is he's, Yeah, he looks like he's getting full, doesn't he? So, so, no, 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 I'm not coming for you, mate. Hold your horses. 
No, no, which one are you? We're going to get tied up in all manner of... Uh, it's quite a slow-moving tarpaulin on this trailer, but... Hopefully. Oh, I thought you were pulling in to let me uh, empty your pipe, but no, sharp corners. That's what you're doing. I'll wait. Give me your dad. Good evening, mate. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, that's good to see you, mate. How you doing? You all right? Enhanced vehicle is great for fertilising the headlands of fields. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it would seem I do need to. I do need to have an explore. It's one of those things, though, isn't it? You know, when like obviously, like all of us, we've been, I've been playing this game since the day it came out. Um, and right now, are you full? Make your bloody mind up. Um, yeah, you know, you know when you you'll download a mod, you'll get used to how it works, and that just becomes your method of doing that particular task. So, um, oh, this is all going peak tong, isn't it? You're meant to be um, you're meant to be staying a hundred meters behind. Where are you going, in fact? Oh no! Oh, please don't have a crash. <laughs> Oh dear. And there's me thinking. If I do all this setup beforehand. Right. Let's just check. Right. Yes. So I can start you off at nearest waypoint. <laughs> yeah, I did all this setup uh, pre stream. Try and uh, make sure that I could get it running smoother. Because this, this is the. This is my. Obviously, it's my. I've not got many solo live streams under my belt, um, and this is my first one using the joy that is course play and auto drive. I say joy in its loosest possible terms, um, but multiple machines, multiple harvesters, multiple grain carts, multiple lorries, two at least anyway. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd try and I, you know, I've created the courses. I've done all this. I tried to. I even did the testing this afternoon on the other field. I did the. I finished off the other field that we did that we were doing last week, and I, I, I finished it off using the, especially the top end of it, using both harvesters, and it went absolutely smoothly as you want. There was no bumping into each other. There was no problems anywhere. Go live. All goes wrong. What are you doing now? Get in. Right nearest waypoint. Off ye go. Right, behave yourself now. Yeah, there you go. Right. I just left my damn tractor in the way. Ah! Come on. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Never work with animals, children, or auto drive and course play live. Yeah. Wise words from the man himself. Speaking from years of experience there mate <laughs> yes I'm determined to, well, I'm, well I'm not going to say it but yeah that should be it once the, once the harvesters get a bit of distance between them and they, can, and they stop trying to trade paint with each other um, fingers crossed this should be alright I, uh, I did refrain from giving too much of a field margin as well so there will be the odd uh, the odd stick of corn around the edge of the field, unfortunately. Or untested mods. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, that's always how it happens. Hit go, live or record, and guaranteed it will go wrong. Yeah, you're absolutely right there, mate. You are right. Um, although it doesn't tend to go wrong on um, when I'm recording episodes, just, you know, making a normal video. It's fine. As soon as you go live, it's like, no. No, we're going to play around with you tonight. You think you're going to work smoothly? No, have that. I'm going to crash into each other. I'm going to do something completely unexpected. Headlands are always the nerve-wracking time. Yes. Well, that that's one of the one of the reasons why whenever I do a multiple machine um, course play course, I'll always increase the, the the distance between them. So I think base game gives you 75 meters, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, I will always at least 100 meters or more. Sometimes 150, just to be safe. I always used to enjoy doing the um, on Huron County field 160, I think it is, 161. There's a whopper, massive field right in the middle, big square thing. Um, and I used to love throwing because I think course play gives you you can do five at motor 
with the most, can't you? So I'll throw five combines in. Just to practice and just to, just to enjoy practicing making a, a properly detailed auto drive network and course play course working together, so like we have here. A couple of lorries, a couple of, uh, couple of grain carts, multiple harvesters. Let's see what can go wrong and practice and try and learn from it. And it's um, that's where I've done most of my my learning from for uh, course playing auto drives on, on Huron County. Getting the big stuff out. Um, yes, Ron, this map this map is a beauty. It really is. Um, again, I, I, I just I can't help myself. You know, I just love. Well, I've said it now. It's but but yeah, you know, sixty odd frames a second. Admittedly, yes, it is hovering around the uh, 50 something. But course play tends to, course play and auto drive do that as well sometimes. When course play is thinking about, is, is in the middle of doing something, it can it can tank the FPS by a little bit. I know it's not important, don't get me wrong, but it's it, it's something that's it's just kind of important to me. I've, I've, I always try and get the uh, the game looking as good as it can. Come on then, let's. Will you. Will, I should be able to run with you, shouldn't I? Let's. Six miles an hour is usually what we go for, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. So if I let's see what we can do here. A bit more out to the left there. There we go. That'll do. Oh, I got you turned. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, that's active unloading, isn't it? So let's have. Active unloading, yes. Fly. Okay. Let's see if that offer can do it on that one as well, just in case I come across that one. Apply. Oh, what are you doing there? <laughs> oh. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. How did you even do that? What are you even doing in there? Row up, stop playing in the trees, get out of the forest and do some farming. Right. <laughs> right, wait for call. Yes. Honestly. Where are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Mr. Thor, yeah. Right, let's try again. So I've just turned you to active unloading. So if I pull up to about VAR, stick on a bit of cruise control, you should. It says. Come on. No. Oh, sod you then. <laughs> you just can't get the staff, can you? And I'm paying these staff as well. I've turned course play wages on. I'm not a slave driver and auto drive as well. Because uh, it's just the right thing to do. In fact, just out of curiosity, what does it say? An hour and 38 minutes. That's not so bad, right. He looks like he's ready to unload, so we'll, uh, we'll beat that auto drive one over there, I think, while we're here. We're at 71%, so that'll be us heading for the, uh, for the lorry, I think, when we get this lot out of this one. I feel. So what's everyone got planned for the weekend? Anything interesting? Anything much going on tomorrow? I know uh, FSG. If you're, I know you're off to see uh, off to see your family down here, aren't you, mate? What's, what's everyone else up to? Anything interesting? Come on, pipe out, pipe out. There we go. Boom! Right. I'll do for me. There we go. Yeah, this should time quite well, I think. We'll get down to... We'll get to 100%. He'll have a bit more room inside him. Mr. Barber, good evening, mate. How you doing? Good to see you. How are you? You all right? Right, so... That's 100%. Cover up. Jump onto the road there, nice and easy. There we go. Having a great day, thank you, Mr. Barber. Yep, all good. I've spent most of the day sat up in front of this computer tweaking with graphical settings, thanks to Mr. Haythornthwaite, and, uh, as I said before, just uh, mincing around with auto-drive and course play and getting things set up on here again, ready for this evening's stream. 
I tried to take all cautions and get all things done ahead of time thinking everything will work and it hasn't I've already had uh, a couple of combine harvesters trying to smash into each other very slowly I've already had an auger wagon go out and play in the forest instead of doing his job but we're all good mate we're all good it should be working once the headlands are done it should no I want the front one first thank you I shouldn't have bought my pipe out quite so, uh, so early should I how are you? You alright Mr Barber? Good to see you. Thank you very much for uh, joining us all on this Friday evening. There we go. First bit into here. Now I know, I say, I say this, Touchwood, uh, that the uh, the trucks will behave perfectly, I think, Touchwood. Everything should go well with them, because all they have to do is go from here to the, to the silo. Dipping the grain. But we're going to be... Uh, I reckon we'll be north of a million litres by the time this field is finished, which I do hope to get done in this whole stream, now that I've got the two harvesters working, now that all this stuff is running. Um, I'm pretty much expecting over a million, million litres. We've got six, well 680 something from... Looks that field there, the one right next to us. Yeah, so there'll be, there's an almost 100% certainty that we're going to be... Uh, swimming in dry corn over the next few months. I'm not too sure exactly how long it takes that grain dryer to dry all that corn, but when it's dried, in fact, let's just have a quick peek into here. If we go down to find the dry corn, so where we show price fluctuations, 771 in, so January, and just check the Base price of corn, right, so base price of corn is 505, so we're getting 200 and something, oh it's in pounds, it should be in dollars, shouldn't it, but uh, yeah, 270-ish dollars per 1,000 litres, which spread that across our wealth of dried corn, we're going to be swimming in money, uh, which I'm going to use sensibly, we, obviously we've got a decent amount of kit, um, we do have the I haven't got any mulching equipment, but I do have the because I because these fields haven't been prepped, so to speak, so they're going to need topping up with nitrogen and stuff, and that's what I have the anhydrous toolbar for. But that's obviously a cultivator as well, isn't it? So, um, excuse me. Um, so yeah, the the approach to to field work on this one might just be might be relatively straightforward after a harvest. In order to top up the nitrogen with my anhydrous toolbar, I need to essentially use that, and it, it essentially cultivates the field, doesn't it? So that's going to be the process, I think, post harvest. Um, yeah, how are we getting on with these lot anyway? Let's have a quick flick. So you, you're 67 percent, 61 percent now. Let me just check. Oh, you're oh, you swine! Right. And you're going to bump into that. Are you going to bump into that? No, you're not going to bump into that, but you are. Look away, ladies and gentlemen, very quickly. I'm just going to... I thought I'd, I'd planned the course. Are you going to move... Am I in your way now, am I? Come on. You should be... There you go. <laughs> I appreciate that that's not the uh, correct way of moving a lorry out of the way, but just for the sake of it. That's how I'm doing it. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be fine with the other one. Uh, doing good. Just got home from work due to snow. Now it's time to play FS till I have to go feed the cows. Wonderful, mate. Sounds good. Alex B, you're working working on an, working for an ambulance company. Awesome. So do you, do you an ambulance company? So you, do you work in the ambulances or do you maintain the ambulances? Do you keep them running smoothly? What are we doing here? Where's my tractor? Right, okay. I'm, oh no, you're not in the way. Yeah, they have got uh, two headlands to do, and once those two headlands are done... Dutch wood. Should be cooking on gas. He says. Naively. But that other one there should now have the room, because that's on the right-hand side, so I shouldn't need to... Uh, Bulk any trucks out the way. Um, what, what did we say was in you? You're 67% full, so you'll be full come the next feed. 
Uh, so we'll... You're 69, you're 90. Oh, but you're also pulling right up next to me, so I'll have that one. I think. Yeah, the right thing to do. Get out of your way. But yeah, as I say, we're going to be well north of a million litres of dried corn once it's, uh, once it's been through the, the, uh, the grain dryer, the corn dryer. Um, it's going to be a lot of money. It's going to be a lot of backing and toing with the lorries, but obviously I've got the two lorries, so that's going to uh, they'll be busy one episode firing stuff off to get sold, but that's going to be in... Oh, well, it's in January, isn't it? So it's not too long. We're in October at the minute. The dry corn. Yeah. Not bad. Show current prices. 771. Oh, so Kansas City's all right. Yeah, so, okay. Right, oh. I'm coming. You're only there. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Massey, good evening, mate. How you doing? You alright? Good to see you. Cheers for joining us, mate. Hope you're well. How's your Friday going? Got that Friday feeling. There you go. I see I did need to beat it to it as soon as he gets because I'm controlling this myself because the or because the other one's controlled by auto drive as soon as this dude gets his pipe out he starts making his way to him so he should now fools his there we go right as soon as he puts his pipe in he'll stop should do come on there you go Now where's the other one at? Ninety percent. Right, you can go and have him, mate. You go, you go get that one. In fact, why haven't you stopped? What are you? Where is it you're actually heading to now? <laughs> Negative. I drive and work in the back and do patient care. Oh, good on you, mate. Good on you. Argzy. Good evening, sir. How you doing? You well? Cheers for jumping on, pal. How are you doing? You okay? Now, forgive me. I'm uh, I'm really, really uh, ill-informed when it comes to time differences. But it's I can't I can't I can't remember if you're way behind or way ahead time-wise. What times it were you, mate? Yeah, things are good. Cheers, Args, mate. It's all good. All good. I've uh, I've taken a couple of brave pills and decided to go live doing course play and auto drive with two combines. Two auger wagons, me driving one of them, and I've got two double hopper bottom trucks going back and two to my grain silo, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gold Gaming, howdy mate, good evening, how you doing? Cheers for joining us mate, how you doing? Right, so you're going off to that one over there in the distance, doing alright, thanks. Saturday morning, 13 hours on us at the minute, right, okay, it's just so, so I can log that in my... Uh, in my memory now so you're you're 13 hours ahead right okay that's cool that's cool how's the lego model have you got it done yet your tractor i, I think actually I, I i'm sure i'm i talked about you args in the late in last week week stream just how i was in awe at how because i'm new to this stream thing kind of you know still finding my feet with it and you know concentrating on OBS over here and the chat over here and saying hello and all this kind of stuff. Um, knowing how what you know all there is to think about and monitor and keep my mind on, and yet there you are doing a live stream dealing with all the same stuff that I'm dealing with here, and building a Lego model. Mega, absolutely mega. I, I was just like, wow, that's next level live streaming. That I know you were using GPS or a variant of GPS, but that doesn't matter. It's st you still had another camera pointing at you. You had all the, oops, you had the instructions on screen, and I was just like, "That's amazing! Really, is amazing." Um, right, you look full over there, Mister Other Grain Cart. Uh, if you if you want to really challenge yourself, use Courseplay and Auto Drive on a live stream. Hey there. Oh, here we go. There we go. Look! 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 Oh. Ooh, that was close. Did you see that? That was... Where are you going? 
Oh, of course, you're going around the outside because I have, um, I've got the, if I bring up the auto drive network, I've got, obviously, forgive me if you, those of you can hear my dog barking downstairs. There's clearly some kind of human activity happening around the house. My dog has latched onto that human activity and won't shut up. He's got a set of lungs on him though, can you hear him? Yeah, I've got the, uh, I've got the, the blue two-way ring running uh, running around the outside of the field but it can only work in one direction for the purposes of the well this one works in one direction for the purposes of uh, getting to the uh, trucks in the correct direction in the correct orientation because the auger pipes only on one side they can get to it from both sides they, they should be able to because they plot the shortest route don't they I'm surprised from here I'm surprised that he's chosen to go around that way but Regardless, you will end up getting there. Um, tractor is moving. I shared a video on your Discord, right? Well, yes, I joined your Discord as well. I'm, I'm again sorry. I'm, I'm Discord is. I'm entirely new to Discord. Um, it clearly looks to be a very wonderful place, but it's very busy, isn't it? There's a lot going on all the time, um, and I've, I only really use it on my phone, and it's like alert after alert after alert after alert and I'm like what I, uh, I'm yes I'm a noob what can I say I'm, I'm I need to get used to discord I need to get my own discord kind of set up I've, I've got it it exists but I don't have any I've got no idea I heard the term webhook a couple of few weeks ago and I was like what um, so yeah there's a whole load of web hooking I clearly need to do to get my discord up and running and actually functioning as one of the discords that you guys have because they're, they're so busy they're amazing places i get that uh there's so much amazing stuff you can do with it i just haven't got the foggiest <laughs> uh chimera how are you doing you all right good to see you cheers for joining us mrs sim game here she is everyone mrs sg in the house how you doing mate good to see you really appreciate you coming by to say howdy you all right Oh yeah, mute notifications very quickly. <laughs> it's yeah, I've got to get I've got to get me noodle round it, mate. I really have. How are you, Mrs. SG? Appreciate you coming by, mate. Mrs. SG's been busy recording tonight. I, I, I told her I was going live, and she was like, "I've got I, I'm doing some recordings," and I was like, "Recordings come first. Make sure you do those and do all that." Um, yeah, good to see you, mate. Are we still uh, Are we still rocking and rolling for tomorrow night, mate? We. Uh, I think hopefully, fingers crossed, assuming my computer doesn't spontaneously combust between now and then. Yo! Good to see you, mate. Um, yeah, we're still on for tomorrow night, mate. Doing a bit of a Court Farms multiplayer. Go live again. Twice in one weekend. Excuse me. Need a drink. Um, right. I suppose this is actually the complex part of the field, isn't it? All good, cheers, Chimera. All good, I hope you're having a good weekend. Or, oh, say weekend, the weekend's just started, doesn't it? Oh, you see, look, this is where it's all going to go horribly, horribly wrong. I'm going to quickly jump in here. Bring you to a quick stop. Because otherwise... I mean, there's not really much point in you doing all that, is there? But for the sake of... You gotta be careful when you when you start off from nearest waypoint, it's literally the nearest waypoint, so if it's closer to one than the other, it's all gonna go wrong. So there should be alright. He says. Yep. Bang on. In fact, no, while you're here, while I'm doing this, I'll just grab this bit in the corner that's been missed. We need a Mrs. SG, Mrs. Argzy and Beanie live show. Oh, that would be amazing. That would be so cool. Yes. <laughs> hey, did any of you catch uh, Scroft's live stream the other night? Uh, Scroft's video, sorry. That another live stream didn't end up happening because he had computer problems. But, uh, yeah, the uh, did you catch the, the actual episode that they did? It was really, really good. Really enjoyed it. It was properly cool. 
Yeah, that is a really cool idea, isn't it? Right, now we've got you. That'll do that. So, let's bring that back up again. Let's turn you off. Right, so you'll... Listen now, I can technically... Just start you from about there, I think. Let me just make sure that you're not going to start from an invisible waypoint. Yeah, you see. There. Start you somewhere in the middle. Off you go. Please follow around to the left. Ding dong. Right, there we go. Thank you very much. There we go. Yes, totally. She was really good considering that was her first time playing the game. I thought it was, honestly, I, I, properly a really neat harvest. You, the, the, you, could, you, can, you can always tell from the, uh, the, the, the pattern of the straw swaths left behind, but it was like, you've never not played this before. That can't be your first time playing the game. It was really, really good. Um, but yeah, it was just a great stream. Just enjoyed the chat, the banter. It was just like, it was mega... Um, yeah. Awesome stuff. How are you anyway, mate? Good to see you. Good to have you on board. Thank you very much for joining us. I know you've had a very busy time at work. And, uh, busy day, mate, so I really do appreciate you stopping by and saying hello. I've decided to dive in at the deep end tonight, mate, and go live running course play and auto drive with two harvesters, two auger wagons and two trucks at the side of the field. There we go, you see? Right. Now that's, you see, that's not going to work, is it? These are the bottlenecks that I was trying, I was hoping to try and avoid, but you've got like 10,000 litres left there. So if we empty you out. There we go, there we go. Truck's on its way back. That one went successfully. Excellent stuff, so let's put your pipe in. Turn you auto drive back on again. You should just be waiting for call when you're done. There we go. Excellent stuff. So you're 70%, you're 49%. And there's me. Right, okay. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Live streaming automation, mate. It's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Got to learn somehow, though, haven't I? Got to be done. Got to be done. My happy place. Do you know, most of the time it is my happy place, but as soon as you go onto a live stream, it all goes wrong. <laughs> and it's kind of, it's not gone too wrong tonight so far, I will be honest, but I have, I've had the other auger wagon decided to go for a jaunt in the forest for a few minutes and get stuck in a tree. Two combines decided to bump into each other slightly and I had to stop and move one out of the way and... It's these little things that you have to uh, you have to encounter with the uh, horseplay and auto drive. Seventy eight percent full. Now I know it, I know he's only running like half a pickup there, but that's because I always run a, a twenty five percent headland overlap just to make sure that the if there is a, a smoother or round corner involved that they they stand more chance of picking it and not missing any crop um, with a huge headland overlap. So I always just by by default twenty five percent is the biggest you can is the biggest you can do so yeah got to be done got to be done we've got an hour and 20 minutes left on this job apparently you're 82% you're 78 you're waiting for a call I'm 67 so by the time we get another harvest to load into here there'll be time to uh Time to take a trip to the truck. When I load into the map, I'll know houses or placeables load in. Am I supposed to place them down myself, or are they just supposed to load in? Uh, did you download the extra... There was two... When you download the... When you go to riverbottomcustomsitch.io page, there should be reference to two files. You download the map file and the placeables file. The placeables file contains all the... Um, uh, all, all the placeables, all the buildings, the, the trailer park farms, workshop and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and the grain dryers and all that kind of stuff. So 
you may need to, if you haven't already, you'll have to download that placeable file. Um, and then they all should, you kind of load them in that, the, the folder that you download as an extra mod for, it's a, I think it's a, if I remember correctly, it's a zip file that's, that's got a load of zip files in, you need to extract that zip file and place all them. You know, you know what you do with them, don't you? You, you know, stick all the mod zip files into your mod folder and you should be off uh, rocking and rolling, mate. I'm pretty sure that's uh, what I remember doing it. You've downloaded all three of them and nothing is in game. You've downloaded all three of them? I think there's only two. There's the map file and a placeables folder. And within that placeables folder is all the placeables, mate, I think. Um, yeah. That's how I believe that's how I remember having to do it, pal. Right, let's go and empty this thing up. I don't know why I'm bothering pulling the canvas back. Ooh, we've got problems there. What are you doing? Where are you off to? Oh no, you're making your way to the harvester. Right, I'll let you off. Give you the room you need. I'll wait here, in fact. There's three for you. The map file, a mega link, and then a media file link. Um... I I think the the mega link the the mega thing that's just that that's the um that's where he's hosted the file isn't it so that that should take you to the placeables folder placeables thing shouldn't it Yeah media fire and the mega are just two differing hosting services aren't they they should be um you should tell from the file names, there's one called uh, Missouri River Bottom or, so, or something along those lines, and then you've got um, the one that's called Placeables or something like that, isn't it? There we go. Just different options to that. Cheers, Argosy. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that, pal. What you got planned for your Saturday, Args, then, mate? If it's Saturday morning for you, 13 hours ahead of us. You got much going on today? All right, there we go. You're done. Where are you going? Oh, that was handy. All right, there we go. Where are you going? Oh, that's right, yeah, you should stay still there, shouldn't you? <laughs> right. And the other truck should be nicely... There we go, tipping at the grain dryer. Now this is, do you know, what? while we're here, I'm glad we're here actually, because while you're tipping, I only noticed this the other day, just another really cool bit of detail in this grain dryer. Check that out. Proper cool little graph inside the, inside the little hut here. Spent ages looking at that. <laughs> really cool. Right. Anyway, back over here. Go. Get back to work, Farmer Sim. Rev counter. Hello, mate. Nice to see you. Cheers for joining us, pal. You're editing your next to heat and vid. It's a cracking map, that isn't it? I've got to get I've got to get working on my next one for uh, for next week I think. Oh, you're heading that way. I thought you were going. All oh, right, yeah, fair enough. Quiet weekend at home after a couple of weekends away. Live stream from No Creek Farms tomorrow as well. Excellent stuff, mate. Farm sim filled weekend. I suppose we we can all relate to that, can't we? Because that's all that all my time is spent doing now most of the time since starting this uh, YouTubery thing. It's like every spare minute of, of, of my time is spent sat at the computer, edit, either editing or recording. Um, I've got a series. I've got a series on Tahitian as well, but it's and I just wish it ran as well as this. Is it the same? I, I'm, I'm assuming your computer is probably way better than mine, but 
I can't get to Heaton to run anything. Occasionally it might go into the 50s frames per second wise, um, but most of the time it's like 30s and 40s tops. And I've had to properly turn everything down to like, uh, in the XML, you know, you can you can turn things up to like to three, four hundred percent. I have to put it right back down to the two hundred percent because otherwise it just sits at like twenty frames per second all day long, and it's dead choppy and it just runs like a bag of spanners because of all the trees. Um, so I, I I try to incorporate into my storylines. It's a bit it's a bit of like a it's a bit of a I want to say a role play kind of thing. Um, so I incorporated into my story a couple of episodes ago that I uh, I cleared a load of land to increase the size of one of the fields, which I did, um, and I had a load of uh, contractors in with diggers and tree and, and uh, forestry machines and stuff like that. But it, essentially, it was it was me running around with with my chainsaw with the super strength button thing, so I could just I'd, I could just delete the trees, just going bang 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 bang, just deleting the trees for ages, just to try and eke out three frames per second just so that it ran a little bit smoother I did get a massive field out of it though to be fair, the field I, one of the fields I created on there is, is, is pretty nothing quite as big as this of course but for Tahitian standards it's pretty big um, Hi Lola, how you doing? How is my day? My day's been good thank you mate, day's been alright it's, uh, it's been spent mainly sitting in front of the computer Twiddling with graphical settings and making videos and doing stuff and preparing for today. But yeah, it's been a good one. How's your day? How's your day been? Been a good Friday for you. Uh, getting Giants Editor and remove loads within the map, mate. You make it sound so easy. Again, I can't even manage Discord, let alone Giants Editor. I wish so much that I could use Giants Editor. I need. I need to do it. I'm not. I, don't get me wrong. I, I'm. I don't want to sound like a fool, but I, I'm not an idiot. I can. If I put some time to it, I'll be able to figure it out. Um, but it, I, I did once open Giant's Editor up, and it literally just made me go, uh, no. I just turned it off and never went back in there again. But I know I can. You can go in there, and I appreciate the wonder that is Giant's Editor. I need to just I need to find the time to be able to sit there and spend out. I've got to learn it from scratch. That's what I've essentially got to do, so... To think that I should... Hang on, I can hear another tractor. I've got this load, sunshine. You stay there. <laughs> the battle of the auger wagons. Um, yeah, it's all the trees. I have a fairly beefy rig and I get some performance hits. Yeah, no, that's that's uh, that's fair dues, mate. Um, oh, Mrs. SG, don't you say sorry, mate. Go on, off you go, pal. Don't you worry. It's good to see you, mate. I really appreciate you dropping by. That's all that matters. Catch you all tomorrow. Indeed you will. Go live tomorrow, mate. You go uh, go chill out, pal. Go put your feet up if that's what you're going to do. You've had a busy day, I get that. Don't you say sorry. Good to see you, mate. I'll catch you, uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. There you go. Um, yeah, the battle of the auger wagons beat you to it there. I'm having that one. You can have the next one. In fact, how full are you? You're 32... I'm 33. Okay, pretty close. There you go. He's sticking his pipe out. You can have that one. Off you go. Go on. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Chill out for a minute or two. But yeah, I think it was a it was a wise idea for me to uh, to get myself another harvester and a tractor and auger wagon and truck. I feel definitely was. That last field that we started, in, that field across the way there that we did, and the, that I started in the last episode, we did. I think we managed about 45 minutes, I think, starting the harvest of that field before. The, I mean, and that was into a. Last week's video was three hours long, for goodness sake. Um, I, I, and I finished that field off with the, with another harvester, but the, previously it said it was going to take nearly three hours to do that on the one harvester, so I, I, we definitely needed a, needed a second. Definitely. In fact, I just need to. I should actually think about where they're up to with fuel. Oh, you three quarters of a tank. Just north of half a tank. Right, okay. We'll be reet. Be reet. Yes, indeed. You take care, Mrs. SG. I will. Uh, we'll be live tomorrow night, mate. Right. So, yeah, there we go. 
cracking on. I think now that now that we're off the headlands and we're on the up and down roads, I think this is. Uh, I want to say plain sailing. It should be. I think. There you go. I'll come apart next to you there. Look at that. We can have a little uh, back to side chat. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, what's going on for the weekend for everyone anyway? Anyone got anything interesting going on uh, Saturday, Sunday? Anything good? Do you get some performances as well, dear Khmer, on uh, Tahitian? Yeah, it's it's a, it's a tricky map. It really is. It's a lovely map. I love the layout of it. I love how it's you know it's got a few undulations and hilly areas and stuff. It's a beautiful thing, and it is. It really lends itself very well to a, to a potential like a role play style thing. That's why I went for it. But and it seemed to work quite well initially. That, but then because I, I spent most of the first episode recording way out in the open, out towards where the dealership is, um, working in that big field there. Uh, but as soon as I decided on where I was going to actually put my own farm, I went on the left-hand side and south a bit of the map. And sure enough, I was surrounded by trees, and it's like, yeah, 20, 30 frames per second if you're lucky. And it's just dead choppy. And I, I just, I always try for dead smooth gameplay, so getting the choppiness, it's like, argh. yeah, difficult to uh, to deal with. But hey ho, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, Makes my computer work for its living, I suppose. Yeah, oh, so what do we say we've got left on this thing? One hour ten. One hour ten. Not bad. Not bad. Go to a concert for Saturday, then vegetating on Sunday. Very good. Who's, uh, what's the concert you're going to? Is it a music concert? I'm assuming. Anyone we know? Mark Haythorn Thwaite. Sorry, mate, back from China. Oh, mate, mate, Chinese. Oh, Chinese. It was Kartek last week on his Chinese, and this week you. What did you have for your Chinese, pal? What's your go-to Chinese uh, takeaway menu? Well, it always has to happen when I'm hungry, doesn't it? The thought of a Chinese is making me really hungry now. I could murder a large spring roll. No need to apologise at all, sir. We all need to food. We all need, all need uh, fueling up, don't we? What did you have? Music. Yep. Have I heard? Have I heard of City in Colour? No, I haven't actually. I am very much into my music, though. I do. I do have a wide, uh, wide colour palette of music, music uh, of uh, musical interests. What genre is City in Colour? Sixty percent, eighty-five percent. Right, we'll go for you. We're having you. If I put, see, you should carry on rolling forward, but as it did before. Yep, you've got you. Oh, I'm a bit too close for comfort as well with this one because as soon as he puts his pipe out, oh. Interesting. Now, if I catch it before he officially puts his pipe out, the other one doesn't move. There you go. What did you send me last week, Mark? Oh, yes. You mean, what did I come to you with? You know, please, can you fix this? The windrower, yes. The um, McHale windrower that you that you very kindly fixed for me. Uh, that I've yet to, uh, that that's that's that was going to be um, officially thanked in Monday's Court Farms episode. It worked, mate. It works an absolute treat now. You, you told me that you you'd also completely fix the animations of the the windrowers themselves because I think in your words they were all wrong. And I was like, really? Um, and I was just amazed. I, I was, so anyone who, who's not following what I'm what I'm saying here. Um, in my Court Farm series, I've had this real irk with, and it seems to be, it's particular tools. Um, it seems to be mainly windrowers and um, and tracked. That's the reason why this custom modding Demco grain cart isn't on its tracks, because you can equip it with tracks, and it looks amazing, but it doesn't sit still. You park it up and it goes, and it starts wandering off, um, and it drives me around the bend. 
I had a windrower in on Court Farms and at the front end where it sits on the ground once you detach it from your tractor, that would very slowly just start edging its way off to its right. So if you left it there for several hours, it'd be, in a, it'd be kind of in a different position. And it, it, Again, I know it's not game-breaking, I know it's not a major problem, but it really did bother me. It was like, why, you know? Because it would move over and it would bump into the tool that was next to it and then shift that over then. It was just a domino effect of farm machinery. It was driving me up the wall. Um, so I, I did a bit of a mod search and I found a really what looked to be a really nice McHale windrower. And I thought, great, right. And I fixed it. So I bought it and I put it, you know, I recorded it and it's all there. I bought a new windrower, brilliant stuff. Um, and the first time I came to use it, and you know how I like to make my cinematic things and in order to make the cinematic sections that I make of my videos um, horse play and auto drive are an absolute necessity to be, to be able to do that uh, when I put the tractor in the field with the windrow to set it off to row up the grass it didn't literally didn't go anywhere didn't move because course play recognized it as a, uh, a bunker tool and it was like it's not a bunker tool it's a bloody windrower and that was that's not a problem with course play that was a problem with the mod itself uh, and I was like I was really deflated because I was thinking oh for the love of god I'm either going to have to try and find another mod and buy it and sell it and this and the other and then I just, I just kind of thought I'll, I'll, I'll try my luck because I've been, I'd been you know I've, I've been getting to know since Lammer I've, start, I've met so many people in, 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 in the flesh Mr. Haythorn Mr. Thor kind of so I just kind of went to Mr. Thor and I was like yeah, yeah can I ask you a favour any chance you could cast your eye over this? And he was like, "Yeah, sure, send it my way." So I sent it, sent it over to him. And a couple of hours later, bang, there it was, back in my, back in my game, working perfectly. And he said that he'd completely redone the animations for me because they were all wrong. So I was like, "Wow, eternally grateful." So now I've, I've literally, I've had, I have the perfect windrow. It works perfectly. It looks brilliant. And the main point, sorry, forgive me of my long waffle. It's this particular mod even before Mr. Thor worked his magic with it, it stood still. It didn't wander off. And I was like, brilliant. That'll do for me. Uh, so, yeah. Forgive me, Mark. Yes, it was. <laughs> Your initial question was, what did you send me? Yes, it was that windrower. Um, those little things can be infuriating. I had some equipment that kept taking itself for walks. Yeah, it's... it's again, it's not... I know it's not game-breaking. Um, the same thing happened... I sent it to the right, Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, the same thing happened uh, again, if any of you have watched my latest Tahitian video, I, I said I sold the roller because I needed rid of it, because that's, that was another thing that didn't stand still, it was a really cool mod it was a dead big wide roller um, and I haven't seen too many nice-ish looking big field rollers um, this one looked to be a really nice mod and it worked perfectly but it didn't just wander off, it properly sprinted off you know, you could literally would take disconnected from your tractor and you'd get off and crouch down and look at it and it'd be like shh, 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 and it just oh so every time I came to it if I'd, if I'd been away from it for more than half an hour in game by the time I got back to it it was in a completely different place in the shed and I was like right you're bloody having it you so again because it's a role play series I made the story up that someone came along and offered me money for it and I sold it just because I just wanted rid of the bloody thing <laughs> it's quite simply so yeah sorted now though there we go you can see the trucks doing their thing now so that the positioning of the auto drive node for the auger tractor is in the right place so that when the truck pulls up underneath it there we go but then you, you can still risk getting a bottleneck I oh, know you'll be alright though because you're going to completely empty into there so I, I don't think there's a 100% certainty that I can completely stop all the bottlenecks when it comes to that particular loading setup there, but it seems to work all right for now anyway. Sounds like that needed an anchor, yes. Is that a mod terminology, Mark? Is that something that... But yes, it needed it where the leg for it, where it sits on the ground once you've disconnected it from the vehicle you're in. Uh, it literally just wandered off and it would be it would all, all, almost be at right angles um, within half an hour to 40 minutes and it was driving me up the wall 
Um, so it had to go. And the same was for uh, the the John Deere, and this this was a really difficult one to deal with. Um, the C850 air car, you know that really big green. It's it's in the. I think it's, it's no, it's not in this intro video. It's in the cinematic, the outro video that I made for all the videos. That I tend to have being towed by a 9RX, the really big planter that comes with the gigantic seed cart, air cart thing behind it. That doesn't sit still either. The whole thing, if you have the planter and the C850 air cart joined together, they just they wander off. But they're so difficult to keep in to move anyway. When you've got it joined up to a, tranker, to a, a tractor, sorry, it's like it's a, you, you're tied up in a giant John Deere knot, um, and reversing an articulated convoy that's got dollies on both implements in the articulate. Why are you pulling off to the side there? You don't need to. You've literally got the space on your left, which means that you're going to trigger that tractor over there, but I'm at 65%, so if by the time you pull your pipe out, I should be able to beat you to it. So, pipe out please, there we go, you should, I think, take me to full, but yeah, you see, because he's officially pulled up and put his pipe out, Muggins over there thinks it's uh, his turn, his turn. Combine in front of me needs unloading. Oh, he's still going. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, no, sorry, not a mod term. You just mean one like on a boat. <laughs> right, yeah, no. Yeah, it definitely needed an anchor, mate. It really did. It was driving me up the wall. See, you're too late, pal. 99. That'll do for me. That'll do. I wonder if we can get both of them there. No, he's going to carry... Oh, well, you see, I've just caused a problem there, haven't I? Oh, dear. Reversing. Oh, all right, clever pants. Well, there we go. Are you going to go to the other one now? The other one needs unloading. Yeah, you should do, shouldn't you? That you should. There we go. Relatively smoothly. It is a challenge. It is uh, uh, expecting all this thing, all this to work seamlessly. Right, pipe out. Let's do it properly this time. I've been pulling the pipe out too early. Not a euphemism. There we go. Right, jobs are good. Un. Stop interfering and let the workers do their job. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't just want to sit here for the entire stream, though. So I'm gonna, obviously I'm going to. Uh, that was the whole idea to get to. Uh, Course play doing the harvesting, auto drive one and running one of the grain carts and running both of the lorries and me just interfering in the middle somewhere for the entire duration of the stream. <laughs> that was the plan. Plan fulfilled, it would seem. Ah. Tell you what, let's have a check and see where we're up to with our levels, though. Um. 868,000, okay, so we're not far off. We're definitely going to be into the million uh, come the end of this field. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Yep, there we go. That'll do for that one. While you're doing that. Oh, check that out! <laughs> How awesome's that? I've never seen him do that before. Oh, you're just doing it because... Right, so you're he's officially load, unloading from the one on the, on the right, but you're just taking advantage of him being there, aren't you? And because you're doing the correct thing, because you're slowing down, because that one's less than 100 metres in front of you. Jobs are good, and... There you go, it does work. It's doing what it's told. Very good. That's cool. There we are. <laughs> Jump back out there and show off, show off. Yeah, well, I don't think I had anything to do with that, mate, to be fair. Really didn't. I 
I've just never seen a, a double unload before. Fully automated. There we go, though. Doing all right. In fact, so where are you, where are you up to now? You're... Oh, you're only 41%. Okay, so... And I'm completely empty. We're still going to have plenty to do, though, even when we're done this... Even when this field is finished, for this episode, we've got... Let's go to the map PDA for a minute or three. So, obviously, this is where we are. That was... A, obviously, that's what we've done already. This is where we are now. We've got this field of soybeans, this field of soybeans. We've got this field to drill, which I think I need to drill with a bit of winter wheat because of the time of year. And this field is grass, which is ready to harvest as well. And that's going to be for our cows. Um, they're not fussy about who they unload to. No, they, clearly they're not. Um, but yeah, we've got... Um, you guys, you, both marks, you, you guys didn't see... I'll, I'll, any For any of you who weren't here for last week's episode, I will um, I'll show you the cow setup that we've got. Because it's a bit daft. I was going to take uh, Cartex approach and um, gone the other way, haven't I? I was going to take Cart Cartex approach and try and have a go at the no animals thing, and then I put that down, which is the biggest cow barn in the game, um, <laughs> the Legacy Ag Mono Slope free stall thing that can hold up like a thousand cows. Uh, I've only got two hundred in there at the minute. They're stocked up. They've got straw and they've got um, uh, food. But yeah, <laughs> it's a whopper, isn't it? Kind of. Uh, I've always wanted to put this into a map. I've never. I've had the mod for ages. Um, you saw it on playback. Oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, it's um, we've still got. A, we've still got to have to uh, give these a coat of attention at some point as well. We've got this field of grass to look at. We've got a, a fermenting silo, and we've got a TMR mixing silo as well that hopefully is going to fully automate most of our um our stuff where are we where's that tractor why is it not i'm in the uh, i'm in the wrong field that's why there we go enter vehicle thank you uh yeah so we've got some uh, we've got a lot of cows to uh no i haven't put maze plus on i have yeah only 200 yeah well i kind of thought if it holds a thousand and i put i put i, put, I think i bought a hundred uh holsteins Holsteins or Holsteins. I've got a hundred of them and a hundred brown Swiss ones. Um, just for a little bit of uh, variety. Uh, but yeah, only 200. But I kind of thought that's... It, it, it's all relative, isn't it? Because we've got a massive grass field that is going to be essentially entirely responsible for everything to do with those cows. That, that entire... Because of the mods that we've got, the TMR mixer and the production system thing, Everything that I need to do to maintain those cows can come from that grass field, essentially. That's whether I'm being entirely naive with that plan, but it sh in my mind it should work that way. Uh, and it's a big grass field and we've got the big mower that runs really fast and does it really quickly and grass grow grows obviously a lot quicker than our usual cereal crops, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, once I can get that cut and uh, all sorted, get the first cut of that uh, so thrown into the production system get some start getting silage and stuff and hay produced we'll be uh, we'll be cooking on gas but no maze plus is not on I, i've not got maze plus on many of my saves because that's another really detailed mod that i know is wonderful and it's had I, I appreciate the the creators of it have put you know thousands and thousands of hours of their lives into creating this wonderfully detailed thing but i just it's it's just i've just never really got into it i've never bothered trying to understand the, in, the the depth of the detail that that mod can go to um, with maize plus and animal food additions you can't cope with any more than 50 cows yeah no I believe so um, are they dairy or beefers I've never done beefers and I think it's time to start they're, they're both god you got me thinking now mate but I'm, yeah I'm sure they're, they're yeah they're dairies there you go um yeah, it's, it's all. It's all. It's just dairy. It's no. Um, uh, there's no beefers on this one. Mr. Bebbington, good evening, sir. How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, mate. How you doing? 
Um, oh no, this is going to get messy, isn't it? In fact, if I pull up, okay, I can actually help this, can't I? If I pull up to you, empty you out. Come on, there we go. Although this is going to foul that one. When that pipe comes out for the one in front, I'm pretty much going to be in the way for the one coming to empty him. So they do still have a tendency to drive through the crop sometimes. They want using auto drive. I might have to. Uh, if he is planning the route, that I think he's going to plan, which is going to be coming directly behind me. In fact, let's do that, shall we? To be fair, that is pretty clever of him to calculate the route around there. Yep, go on. You carry on. You aim for the traps that you're meant to be aiming for. And I'll just come back around. No, no, you're not meant to be... <laughs> right, fine. Squeeze past. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Take your pick. There we go. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I, I remember. I'm sure it might have been Kartek actually on the. I'm sure it was a while ago as well. Now I've got this one. Now, now you've taken my reversing space. A complete tool. No, 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 no. <laughs> Unless I cheat. I don't cheat, Mr. Thor. <laughs> Much. Come on, right, as long as I give you the room to get back to where you want to be. Nope, stop it, stop it, stop it. Should have crop destruction turned on. Why isn't that? Oh, I think I might have turned it off before when I was making the auto drive. Can't have that, no. That needs to go back on. Dum 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 dum. Uh, no, it's that one, isn't it? Crop destruction. No, oh, yeah, that should be on. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. That should have been on the whole time. There we are. That's better. Right, now we're off again. Jobs are good. Hello, mate. I'm great. Thanks for asking. Have I got my Discord? No, I haven't got my uh, I haven't got my Discord up and running yet. It's it exists. There is a Discord with my name on it, um, but there's nothing in it. I've still got to I've still got to create all the channels and need to know what a web. Hook. Oh, look, they're doing it again. But you're not going to go slowly, are you? Um, I still need to create web hooks and do all that kind of stuff that automates the notifications for videos being uploaded and all the all that kind of stuff, and then actually publicize it and tell people about it and say you know here's my discord come join if you're not doing anything um unloading envy you're joking aren't you that was a well <laughs> i had to think about what i was saying then because i was just about to say cluster but yeah it was one of them i felt <laughs> If I need some help with Discord, give you a shout. That's very kind, mate. Thank you very much. I probably need all the help with Discord. I, as I say, I'm, I'm, I've been meaning to put set some time aside to just sit here and do nothing but try and understand Discord. Um, there's so many things I'm, I need to get done, though. I need to... Channel memberships, that's something I need to try and do, possibly, at some point. But Discord is also one that, yeah, that's uh, that's been on my mind for ages trying to get discord working um yeah i only recently I, I only got told the other day how to link it to my youtube channel connect it to my youtube channel um once i was told how to do that i mean it's completely straightforward isn't it but uh, yeah it took me a long time just to get that far uh, start small yeah no I've, i think you're right with that one mr hayfunth wait yeah start small don't uh, work up to it all yeah is it a big map, this one? I've recently started a home farm save on Court Farms. Uh, yes, Lee, it is. This is a this is a whopper of a map. This is a 4X map. This is uh, the Missouri River Bottom by River Bottom Customs. Um, 
I do love a big map. I'm a sucker for a big map. I really am. Um, only really get on maybe once a week, so slow progress. Well, yeah, I, I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, it's um, not everyone can afford the time. Because this is one... Of, I mean, it's a great... It's, it's pros and cons of this game, isn't it? As much as the game is wonderful, it's very difficult to play it for just half an hour at a time or maybe even an hour at a time because it can take you an hour just to do half a field, can't it? Um, call me H, not the full name. Will do, mate. Um, yeah, it's... The jobs can take so long that it can be very difficult to progress, can't it, when, you know, like I say... Cultivating a field on court farms can take four to five minutes. You know, if you if you can only afford to throw an hour or so at the game, that's your game time done, isn't it? And you feel like you've got no, nowhere. Um, but yeah, uh, it is a whopper of a map. Uh, it was a 4x, so it's it's big enough um, going into the. If so, if you can to try and give you a, a, a rough idea of the size of the map. So if you if you take in the field that we're in here at the minute, um, and I'll go into the map PDA. That's the field we're in at the minute. And that's not even the biggest on the map. That's the biggest on the map. I did think about buying that one when I set up the farm, but I thought I thought better of it. I just thought I'd buy the ones around here. Um, the ones we've got are big enough. But you never know when it comes to the kind of money that we're going to be making from selling this dried corn when it has been dried. In fact, how much is that? So farmland. That's 1.4 million. I reckon we are going to be able to afford that when that dry corn sold, because where are we at now? Level wise. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Oh, I need to go into the productions menu, don't I? Because it doesn't show there for some reason. 928,785 litres. And we've still got so much scrolling. That's probably about 50% of the way through it, isn't it? Give or take a bit, roughly. Top gear maths and all that. We're about halfway through it. Um, we're already at one hour of 40 minutes on the stream, so we might not even get this finished before the end of the stream. We might do. We'll see how we go. Um, that's Mark H, not just H like H. From no, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I wasn't going to call it. All right, H. Yeah. Mark H, Mark T. I will. I get it. I will. <laughs> um have I tried Huron County? I, I have indeed, mate. Yes, I, I've, I'm a, I used to be a frequent user of Huron County. Um, yes, it's. Uh, I love that map. I, I mentioned it actually earlier in the stream because that's where I, um, uh, that's where I did a lot of my multiple course play, machinery practice stuff on. Um, field 160. Is it 160? 161? The big one, slap bang in the middle. Um, if you've seen my, uh, you know my cinematic video outro thing there's a very quick snippet of uh, five uh, class Lexions the caterpillar coloured class Lexions on a field uh, and with the camera flying over them, oh that was a beautiful piece of alignment there wasn't it um, yeah that's on Huron County that's on field 160 something come on there we go um, Yes, Argsy's been Argsy's been uh, lurking for a bit. Yeah, he was he's been here for a bit, Mister H, Mister H, Mark H. There you go. Beat you to it, second auger wagon. I'm still only at seventy-eight there by the time. You know what? To save causing problems, I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. You say, no, 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 no. Oh, but I have caused problems because he's going to go now, isn't he? Oh, you silly boy. Didn't think about that one, did I? All right, well, let's just get full up with that. Oh, Spring Creek was a whopper. In fact, I did something a long, 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 long time ago. Was it? I think it might have been you guys, wasn't it? On uh, one of FSG's videos, you made a custom field in the centre of that... Um, I tried to recreate it long before my days of starting YouTube. It's it's the, again it's another wonderful thing about this game and watching people on YouTube play this game, it's giving you the inspiration to do something. Now one of FSG's live streams, um, there was a big group of you, and for, uh, forgive me, back way back then I didn't I didn't know who most of you were, so it may it may well have been people like yourselves, uh, Mark H and and uh, others, but there was a 
yeah, the big the big thousand hectare thing. It was a gigantic field that had been joined together. It was loads of other fields stitched together in the middle, and there was an island in the middle that had the uh, the grain complex in the middle. Is that how I remember it? Well, I forgive my lack of uh, originality, but I saw that and was like, oh, so much want. So I did that myself. I tried my best to recreate it similarly because I thought that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, Spring Creek. Love that map. Absolutely love it. Um, Mrs. Mrs. SG was around earlier on, uh, Lee. She was. She did pop by and say hello. She's uh, she's had a very very busy week at work. Um, she's got a lot going on. Um, she did she did call in and say hello, but she's uh, she's gone to put her feet up and chill out on the sofa um, with her doggies and the hubby and uh, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, she's. Uh, I think I think. I'm assuming, I'm hoping still, we're, we're, me and uh, me and Mrs. SG are going to be uh, going to be live tomorrow night on uh, on Court Farms, back down there because we've not been on there for a while actually. Um, so, 84 man hours to harvest with a 60 foot header. 84 hours. That's not. Is that with one? Is that one harvester with one 60 foot header or multiple? So I'm assuming you did multiple harvesters. 84 hours. That's massive. That is massive. 1,000 hectares. But yeah, I was really quite proud of myself for that. Forgive me, because because I, it was something that it was it was a project that you guys had obviously worked together on. And you'd all collaborated and made this amazing setup. And I I think I sat there for about a week and I did it all myself. I kind of mapped out a. I mapped out the custom field with course play, roughly of a similar uh, size and area to what you guys had done, and then just sent. I think I think I did it. I, I created it with two plows. The one thing that did take the time um, was getting rid of the trees because obviously that 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 particular area was full of islands of trees, wasn't it? So it was a case of running round on super speed, um, just manually just deleting the trees with my chainsaw um, but yeah it was uh, field 81 on Huron 256 hectares is it, is it there's field 160 or 161 the one that's slap bang in the middle the big square one that's the real big one on Huron County isn't it I think we have a much bigger feel for FSG. We have a much bigger feel for FSG's 100, 100... Ooh. A bit of a... A bit of a head... A, a, a knowledge there. Because that's going to be coming up soon, isn't it? Is that on Spring Creek? Again. Are you, are you, are you keeping that on Spring Creek, uh, Mr H? Yeah, field 160. Yeah, that's the one. That that's my go-to field uh, bent for multiple harvester cinematic shots. Farmland 81. Right. Okay. So we we were both right. <laughs> Do you know what? While you're doing that, and while you're sitting still, I should take advantage and get on a bit of that. Loom at Discord. Oh, look at look at Discord. I will. Okay. That I will. Hello again, Finnish. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I will, mate. I'll, uh, I'll, I will check Discord out once I've... Uh, once we've done here. I've uh, turned this thing off. And yes, Spring Creek. Right, okay. It is an awesome map, isn't it, Spring Creek? Um, right, so that's you empty. Excellent stuff. Cost over ten million dollars. Yes, yes, it's a yeah, it's an expensive piece of land, isn't it? It really is. Right there. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping that this that. I suppose I didn't factor in all the dithering around and the stopping and the starting, but. It kind of said what I think it said. This would be on the course play time thing that it would take one hour and 40 odd minutes to do this field 
the whole stream itself is good. I suppose I did babble for a while, as I usually do. Mr. Hudson, hello. How are you doing, mate? Good to see you. Hope you're well. Cheers for dropping by. Hope all's good. Um, yeah, the stream's already almost, well, one hour, 50 minutes, it says we're at now, and we're, we're still pretty much... It feels like we're still about halfway uh, halfway done. So we may well not get this job done before the end of the stream. This might have to crack on. Or what I might end up doing is doing, getting this finished off off camera again and cracking on with the next field for the next stream and see if we can get that one done. Because um, the next one is next door, actually. Soybeans. This is ready to harvest, and the, the I've got obviously I've got a couple of the honeybee headers, so they're a bit bigger. So we get them both running again in that field, and we'll make a dent in that and see what we can get out of that field. But uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of this, for the, especially for the next few episodes. Anyway, there's going to be it's going to be harvest after harvest essentially, and then it's going to be cutting a massive field of grass and doing a load of grass work because uh, I've got it down to goodness me. Got to switch time back on. When did I do that? Um, we have, yeah, we've got a massive grass field to do. We've got several, a couple more soybean fields to do. The real big one next behind us there, slightly smaller one on the other side of the farm. We've got a field to plant, uh, which I think will be winter wheat, judging by the uh, seasons. And we've literally got the rest of this month, and we have the. Um, Three day months, I think. Three, yeah. Where are we? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, three days. So the rest of this day and two more in-game days to get all that work done. And it might seem like we've got plenty of time, but everything takes a heck of a long time, doesn't it? Uh, am I using Colossus Harvester? Uh, no, Lee. No, I'm not. I'm I'm using a uh, Fent Ideal 10T, or I'm using two Fent Ideal 10Ts. Um, these have become two of my favourite harvesters in game since seeing them in the flesh at Lama and just appreciating exactly how big they are it just made me go yeah I'm going to be using them a lot more have I prepared for Mrs. SG tomorrow um, for our stream you mean um, I haven't done any preparation yet but we are I believe we are going to be doing our live stream tomorrow night yes um Yep, that's that's the plan. I feel. Usual time, eight o'clock, I think. Uh, I haven't got a clue what we're going to be doing down there on yet. I know we've got a very couple of very small uh, bits of wheat to get harvested, but it's it's a different thing entirely, isn't it? When you've been playing, and that was another reason why I had a real thirst for getting back into an Amer big American map because I've spent so long playing Court Farms. I think I'm at like episode fifty-seven, I think now fifty-six or fifty-seven, which for me is like a massive. Thing. Um, but yeah, because I've spent such a huge amount of time playing a British map and not doing much American stuff, uh, I had a real thirst for big equipment, big fields, big swathes of corn harvest like this. So uh, yeah, as soon as this came out, well, uh, Tahitian came first, didn't it? I saw Tahitian, I saw FSG's video on Tahitian, and I was like, oh, bellissimo. So I downloaded that got the creative spark and started the Tahitian series and then a couple of weeks later this thing came out and I was like right this is a live stream map all day long so here we are live streaming um, but no I don't, I don't have is that that Colossus Harvester you're referring to Mr. Bebbington is that is that one of the that's one of these modded ones that's got like a, a crazy uh, capacity isn't it is that right hence why the name's Colossus oh you've got your light on Will I beat you to it? Where's the other one? Where's the other tractor gone? You're there. I reckon I'll beat you to it. In fact... Yeah, I think that's the knack, isn't it? So before you officially stop and officially put your pipe out, if I stop you there... Ah, so that's the, that is the key, isn't it? I want to do this properly. Just keep an eye out for the beacon and then I won't cause any problems up here for thinking and all that. Tell you what, all this talking doesn't have to dry your mouth out. 
especially when you're sitting in front of a really hot computer. <laughs> there we go. 59, 60, right. Jobs are good. And then I think I might actually be able to do the same with you now, won't I? If I stop you in your tracks, I can fill myself up. Yeah, I'm sure it's got like a 500,000... A 500,000 capacity... 70 mile an hour working. Good God, you'd have this field done in minutes, wouldn't it? Shortest live stream in the biggest field in one record. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, that. 500k. Goodness me. It might actually be quite fun to give that a go, I must admit. That was another thing, actually, one, one thing that would have been fun to do, because I, I know I, I kind of I feel like I can't because of the nature of my Court Farm series, but uh, Mark Thor sent me his, uh, a planter pack that he, he'd been creating. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a modded planter pack. It's got a whole host of the base game stuff in there that have all been fettled by Mr. Thor. And they all have increased capacities or the, the, oppor the, the opportunity to equip with an increased capacity. But they also all have a 30 mile an hour working speed, which I thought was pretty cool. Obviously, but with court farms being what it is, I, I'll I'd get uh, I'd, I'd be put down in flames if I uh, if I drilled a field at 30 miles an hour. So I'll be I, I will be keeping the the speed to the nine miles an hour that it should be according to the base game version of the tool that I've got. But uh, yeah, I do quite like the idea of. Um, having a go at harvesting and drilling at an obscene speed. <laughs> I don't think you'd fit it through most gates on court. No, well, that, yeah, the, the, the Colossus Harvester, you definitely wouldn't know. I appreciate that, for sure. There we go. In fact, let's have another quick check on our uh, 985. Oh, I suppose that is going down as well, isn't it? So where are we at? with dry corn so we've got a hundred just under a hundred thousand liters of dry corn so combined between the two corn and dry corn we're north of a million so uh there we go right I need to pull you back a few feet just to tip into that rear section there oh yeah that's a good question mr uh, mr h how uh how many downloads have you had for the quick bail? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, Mark. Uh, I'll be uh, controlling the speed with the with the cruise control because uh, I mean, I got I got I got accused of or well, not accused. Accused is the wrong word, but so, so in one of the a couple of Court Farms episodes ago, I um, I updated the better contracts mod. I think it was. Oh, sorry, I didn't update it, Leroy sent me the updated version because uh, the forage contracts wouldn't work at the same time it's because I had the old better contracts um, and when I, when, I, when I was given that updated better contracts there was an option in there to insta ferment so I had a so I, I, I bailed up my grass field and wrapped them and I thought Do you know what I'll, I'll try it I'll try it once maybe twice but this was my first attempt my first use of it so I went round and I insta fermented all the bales, and the, it it only saved me time. It didn't. I didn't benefit from anything that I wouldn't have ordinarily have got. I just meant I got the money from my silage bales a few days quicker than what I would have done. Um, but I, oh, I don't like you cheating and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, I won't do that again. I was like, it's not really cheating, is it? I didn't like just throw half a million quid into my bank account and throw a nine RX down the road or anything, did I? It's like I didn't really benefit from anything that I wouldn't have benefited from anyway. Um, wow, those are some big numbers there. Pair of marks: three hundred and seventy thousand downloads on the quick bail, one hundred and seventy-three thousand nine hundred and eighty-three for the time-saving stock check, and that's PC. Which is PC only. Two hundred and twenty thousand on the multi harvester. T four forty. Um, Mark Thor. That doesn't surprise me. Anyone who wanted to have anything to do with the premium crops, the carrots and the red beets and stuff. I even I'm 
I mean, obviously, I've got the mod. I can happily say that one of those big numbers on both, on all of those mods, obviously, time-saving stock check is right there. It's always there. Um, and, of course, obviously, I've got the quick bail and the T440. But I'm, I am considering, now that your mod exists, Mr. Thor, to have another go, even though I categorically said no, no more back in weeks ago when I was using the, the, the base game machinery because the base game machinery is painful it really is so I've got to hand it to you mate and just say a thank you for creating that thing to be able to do carrots and red beets and oh I need to get you before you put your pipe out oh you've already damn it that's an official pipe out isn't it so the tractor in front of me is going to latch onto that oh no maybe not Oh, no, you are. Okay, I'll let you have that. Yeah. Save messing things up, seeing as though I can't even... I always get that wrong, trying to drive under the... Uh, under the spout. I always get it too far to my left. I think anyone with sense will have the stock check. And Farmer Sim. <laughs> there we go I'll have yours instead thank you very much base game anything is painful productions are all too slow well couldn't agree more mate that's why I don't, I don't really have a huge amount to do with productions very often but obviously you know needs must and I've got the again referring back to court farms I've got the, the tailor shop that makes me all the money from my, my farmani empire that's a, a modded uh, tailor shop that works really fast. The the wool the woolen mill the spinnery isn't. That's a, a premium expansion, um, like kind of Eastern European branded spinnery. But it's base game, so it works really slow. Um, right, so you're empty. I'll do that. It is a really useful mod. It is one of the most useful mods ever in this game. It really is. And I'm, I'm not saying that just because you're here. I'm saying that because it really is. It's, it's so good just to be able to see everything you need. Because that's I mean, I love the game. I do a lot. I love the game, but I can't stand all of this all the time. Scrolling. Spend half your life bloody scrolling. So being able to go... Where are you? Scrolling. Uh to see everything, everything that you own there on the left-hand side, all the quantities that you own, that's the price you get now, that's its value now, there's the max price, max value, when to sell it, where to sell it, done. That's all of the menus that you really need to, most of the menu options you really need to look at on one screen. So Mr H, thank you mate. It is an awesome thing. Literally, as the title says, time-saving stock check it saves so much time and it saves so much wear on my up and down trigger buttons <laughs> and that's why i wrote it no worries uh lee cheers for, cheers for uh, calling by mate it's good to see you it's good to chat thank you very much for it for your time mate hope you uh, hope you've enjoyed it catch you on the next one have a good weekend mate I'm hoping the T440 update goes through tomorrow had it rejected twice because of the name used for the trailer Is that the Thorinator? I reckon... Hey up, Args, he's still there, mate. I reckon FS19 had a better default interface for that. FS22 was backwards, but must agree. Yes. Evening, Dale. How you doing, mate? You okay? Good to see you. Cheers for calling by. Nice to have you on board, mate. Hope all's good with you. Do you know what, Args? It's funny, it's funny you should say that, because now you've, now you've made me try and remember i can't remember what the fs19 interface looked like i played a lot of it i put many thousands of hours into fs19 i should but i can still i can still remember the fs19 course play uh hud because that was literally on its own wasn't it on the screen the thorger wagon why can't you use your name is it because of because disney will sue giants It's such a great name, Thorgerwagon. I mean, come on. 
What if you? What if you? Is it? Is it because of its reference to Thor? Is that why you can't use it? Because they haven't got the. They're afraid of getting taken to the cleaners by. Uh, Bob Iger. That's his name, isn't it? Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, I think. Um, I wrote it. To, I, I wrote it to get rid of the word doc I used to have. I used. To, I have to admit, it took me two weeks to write. Okay, right. In interesting. Yeah, it's it's interesting learning the nature of it, the, the 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 what happened behind the existence of the creation of a mod. So you used to write stuff on paper, on, on a word doc. Sorry, and uh, you did this to save you that. Uh, that pain of having to keep referring to a word doc. Instead, you made one of the most popular mods. Right. Right, you're all the way over there, so I've got more than enough time to deal with you, and I might be able to... In fact, I might be able to... No, 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 I'm not actually going to have to do this properly, don't I? So you should be about there. Yeah, I got it right this time. You'll do. Right. You're of that. I think there's a bottleneck over at the uh, at the truck bit there. I might need to go and interfere with that in a minute, so I think I'm going to have all the time in the world. Oh, and it started to rain. According to the weather... Oh, no! Well, do you know what? I mean, rain literally stops play, doesn't it? can't use my own name as that self-promotion. Oh, hang on, I'm going to have to stop this, because... We shouldn't really harvest into rain, should we? Oh, and the thunder's coming and everything, in fact. You can stop and all. I know I do have a massive field. But I still don't want to lose yield, do I? Goodness me! Rain always stops play, doesn't it? Right, so... Let's pull your pipe in. Let's fold you up. You want emptying, so we'll do that as well. Even though there's not a single rain cloud in the sky. The rain has commenced, hasn't it? Alright, come on. You can hear the thunder. We'll get you unloaded here. Which I can't do because I've turned you off. Dithering idiots, come on. There we go, pipe out. 51%, 8,000 something, okay. You used to be able to look at each of the cell points rather than by crop. To be honest, I can't remember it exactly, but I could just recall it. It was better. Yeah, no, yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah, it does sound familiar, that. That as I used CW desserts for the dessert fact to try arguing about the ice sheds from first exercise. <laughs> right. Well, do you know what? I think that's. Where are we with that one now? So I need to turn you off. That truck's coming back. No, no, keep the pipe out. You go into there. Right. So I think now that the rain has started coming, we're now at two hours and ten minutes. I think that's kind of decided the fate of the stream for us in that respect, hasn't it? Because we can't harvest in the rain, but we can finish off. So let's move you out the way. Let's go to the other one. Where are you? Let's just check. You're empty. You're empty. You can be folded up. Let's turn you off. Right now. I did turn you off, didn't I? Yep. Turn you off. We're going to take what crop we have here. Load it into the truck that's got something in it. We'll take it over to the, uh, the grain dryer. And I think... When we get there, that may well be us, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's landed at around about the right time. I reckon. I need to have a look at the weather menu thing, don't I? So, okay, so the rain stops at four and 
we get the rest of the day. Okay, so next episode might be an evening episode, it would seem. And I might be able to, in between now and then, I might have to play around with my uh, my newfound reshade thing and see what I can uh, see what I can do with that. Because you can make you can make it look really, really good. Not that it doesn't look good anyway. I'm not certainly not knocking the uh, how well it looks anyway. But this reshade thing can really, really do some quite fancy stuff. So we're definitely going to have one more truckload at least. If I wait for him to get completely full, and if I just pull forward to the front hopper, that should be in line for when the truck pulls forward. I think. There we go. Dum -dum 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 -dum. So that's it. You get gone. You trundle forward. What have we got here? 16,000. Right, okay, so we've still got a fair bit in here. That'll do. And we'll stick with this red truck once you've unloaded your load into here. I asked about initials like MT Multiwagon, as I've seen others using this like that, but they said no and, it's, and that it's prohibited. And there isn't any mods with modders initials. Oh, forgive me, mate, that seems a bit stupid. You're the mod, it's your creation. You should be able to call it what you want. Kind of a damn shame, that, if you ask me. Uh, not that one, not that one. This one. Let's turn you off. Boom, boom, boom. You're going there. Now, if I just get you on your way there. Yep. There we go. We'll stick with this truck here. So we can stop him before he gets gone to the field, because we're not sending him back. There we go. Yeah, that's... That seems really crazy, if you ask me. Obviously, don't get me wrong, I know very little about the whole modding world and what goes on and what you guys have to go through when it comes to testing and all that stuff. I believe it's quite a nightmare, especially if you're... Uh, willing to go through the, the difficulties of getting a mod out for console as well. Um, but for you to have your own name on your own mod, you should be allowed to do that, in my personal opinion. Everyone refers to Time Saving Stock Check, it's a brand. It's a good point. It's a very good point. Yeah? Hmm. Come on, are you done yet? Right. Can, yep, you've done now. You're finished, so... Let's get you out the way there. Come on, I said I didn't think about the weather. Uh, stopping plate, but... Alright, if we do that, unload that, you should be... finished. There, right, so you can turn off. Let's jump into the menus here, into our productions. Where are we? There we go, we're over a million in the corn side anyway. 1,115,112 and counting down, obviously, because it's creating dry corn. And we've got 107,200 uh, or 300 and something of dry corn. So, financially, we're going to be very well off, I feel, uh, when that... Uh, when that feels done, and the soybeans for that for that matter. So yeah, Maze Plus production revamp. There are plenty. I tried twice with the names, and both times responsible was Thorga Wagon. That's a no from us. Well, if you want my opinion, Mr. Thor, I think that's a bit ridiculous. It's your mod. You've named it. You've created it. You've done that to it. You've made it what it is. Thorga Wagon. I mean, come on. What an awesome name. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, two hours and 15 minutes, I think we're going to call it there. The, as I say, the rain has stopped play, so obviously we can't, uh, we don't want to be harvesting in the rain. So, as realism is, as we know, key, I feel now is a, a perfect time to call time on the stream. So, 
thank you to all of you for joining me this evening. I really appreciate your time. I hope you've uh, if you've even remotely enjoyed yourselves. And uh, thank you for the chat, for jumping on and saying hello and uh, keeping me company while I do all this. Uh, so yeah, appreciate it, everyone. And I shall uh, next street. Well, to, if none of you are busy tomorrow night, me and uh, Mrs. Sim Game will be uh, on Court Farms eight o'clock, hopefully. You same same time, same place. Well, it's technically not the same place. Um, but yeah, we'll hopefully be uh, going live tomorrow night. So all, all going well. We'll see you there. Cheers, Ox. Thank you, mate. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you dropping by. Hope you have a great weekend. Um, so yeah, as I say, yeah. Hopefully see some of you tomorrow night if uh, if you got the time over on Court Farms. But yeah, cheers for tonight. It's been awesome. Nice one. See you in the next one. <laughs>